Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. Uh, so in this lecture today, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how uh, we can add a color bar uh, to our map, existing map uh, in the uh, Google Earth engine. Uh, we'll be using the Python API um, using a Jupyter Notebook. I'll give you a demo using uh, the Jupyter Notebook. And then first step, uh, you need to have a, an Earth Engine account, um, sign up with this uh, site. If you don't have one yet, then uh, install either Anaconda or uh, Miniconda to get started. And install uh, Earth Engine uh, using um, a Conda uh, environment using this um, um, uh, command. And after that, uh, you can install GE Map uh, using this, uh, this uh, uh, code I've already installed. Um, so next is uh, to import the Earth Engine uh, uh, and GE Map libraries, uh, which are used to uh, access the Google Earth Engine uh, API uh, here, and also um, some of the you know the mapping utilities using the GE Map um, library. And once you do that, you um, uh, will need to authenticate uh, by running these uh, two codes: uh, e authenticate initialize. But I've already done that. So um, I'll skip this. And so next step is uh, running this uh, part of the code um, to generate a map. So map, uh, G map, uh, map will create a map canvas uh, uh, so that we can you know, look at our, our uh, result, analysis result and display it here. And so first thing is to, uh, let's load uh, a countries database um, by activating this chunk of the code. So um, we'll import this, you know, countries um, uh, feature collection, which is already uh, existing on the Earth Engine uh, library um, or archive, uh, in which the feature collection ID is uh, this uh, LSI be simple uh, 2017. That's a, a global admin data, and I'll subset um, um, a study region in this case U USA uh, to kind of. Um, focus my analysis to a specific geographic region and I'll name this variable as ROI and then countries filter countries is the uh, imported data and next is to import the digital elevation model the USGS um, digital elevation model here um, so I'll import the USGS uh, uh, digital elevation model SR temp data using EE image and this is the image um, uh, collection ID. And I'll clip it by my study area because this is a global data, okay? And next uh, is to create actually the visualization parameter. And I would like to display that digital elevation model um, here. So I'll create some visualization parameter here. I'll define the minimum and uh, the maximum value. Um, you know, the maximum value, I would say about 4,000 uh, uh, meter above sea level and minimum zero and uh, define some color palette. You can, you can provide this different colors if you want to. Uh, these are just some, um, you know, color codes that I um, um, chose for this example. And at last you would, um, you would do the displaying the map finally, right? So you display the uh, map add layer. Um, you'll call that function to display your result over here. And um, you'll, uh, you'll import uh, these uh, DM data here and also the visualization parameter here. And finally, I'll give it a name, SRTMDM, uh, so that when it's displayed here, it will show me that name. So the first one is just um, a simple you know, a visualization. So let's execute that. Um, I think uh, one thing I would need to do is um, create map center object to adjust the zoom level. And I'll make uh, the ROI um, as the zoom object. And I'll say four, that's the zoom level, okay? And then I'll go ahead and execute this part of the code and so it's not coming oh so maybe it's uh i need to call the map object all right okay it's coming perfect so the yeah so as you can see here um 
you know, we have some nice looking visualization parameter here. Um, and so as you can see here, you know, this doesn't have uh, a legend, uh, you know, uh, and also a color bar, right? And in the next exercise, what we'll do is just we'll add a color bar here to this map, okay? Um, so let's do that. And so we'll define, um, a, you know, colors are, uh, you know, visualization parameter. So we'll call um, this, you know, palette. And also uh, we define the visualization parameter. So what we are doing here is we are defining the c colors from the visualization parameters, right? We already have a visualization parameters here. So we're calling from that dictionary, we're just calling each item here. Palette is the color here. It contains all of these colors. So instead of ca calling all of these colors, we just um, um, we just call that palette in that dictionary that contains all of these different colors, right? And the same thing, uh, vi visualization mean, we instead of uh, you know, writing it, we just call this dictionary mean and then also the max the same. And after that, um, and after that, what we need to do is let's just execute this. Okay. So every time we um, want to display a map, we need to call that map. That's uh, slightly different between the Python and the JavaScript version, right? Okay. Um, okay. So this is, you know, where our color bar, um, is okay so and um and so we have added that map add color bar right so that's the function that helped us to add this color that you can see down here right and so it has you know the similar color to what we have here and we have the minimum and the maximum. As you can see, zero is the minimum and the maximum is 4,000. If you look at here, that's what our parameter is. Let's just zoom a little, uh, move a little bit up. So the minimum and the maximum. And these are the color codes that we have provided. If I change those, uh, they'll change, but for now we don't need to do that. So that's our first uh, you know, color bar um, uh, using the Earth Engine Python API um, and which is a horizontal color bar. You know, sometimes you want to move it to a vertical one and sometimes you might need to do transparent, like you, you have some white background here, so you might need to remove that. So we'll do that in the in the next exercise, um, just in a few seconds, okay? So that's our first uh, map. We have already, um, you know, this map's in our object, so we don't need it again here. Um, and Okay, so the next thing is, um, you know, let's let's change this to, um, you know, a, a vertical one. So sometimes you might prefer your color bar to be horizontal, but sometimes you might want it to be, you know, vertical, right? So now let's convert this into a vertical version. To do that, I'll execute the next code. Um, what it does is it will change the orientation of this color bar into a vertical, right? And again, one of the things that we have uh, here is the label, like the label elevation, label elevation uh, M here, right? So if I want, I can change it to DEM, digital elevation model. You know, if I change this, it will change in the vertical version, right? And that's the layer name is SRTM, orientation is vertical. So that's what is changing this orientation. So I define orientation as vertical, then it will change the orientation is what as soon as I execute this. See, perfect. So, and I also changed the name here from elevation to DM. I mean, you can change it to anything, okay? Uh, so that's the, you know, color bar title. You might need it sometimes, you might not need it. So uh, pretty nice to have it here. So, and the next thing is, you know, you might say, okay, I don't need this background, white background. It, it doesn't look, you know, nicer. So I want a transparent background um, with this vertical orientation. So next, uh, let's do that in the next um, part of the code. So what we do here is, let me just uncheck all of this code. So map add color bar. So um, instead of, you know, the orientation is vertical. So instead of transparent, 
true um you know false if you make transparent true then it would make this transparent instead of a white background and all of these parameters are the same as the vertical one you see here um and so that will actually um convert that uh, uh horizontal to um horizontal white background to a vertical um sorry that vertical white background to uh a vertical transparent background where you don't see that white background instead it's transparent it's looking nicer now and so that's how how you um, convert that uh, now I mean you, it, it's, it's it looks a little better I mean it's up to you some you know if you might choose the white background or you might choose the transparent but this is how you can do it uh, the earth engine Python API okay and so sometimes you might need okay this is a little fuzzy i don't see the um you know the, the lines that cut um this this um values for example three three thousand or one thousand five hundred you know the color is fuzzy i want some discrete classification here and that's how you do it um in this code let's just uh, uncheck that so um in a state of instead of um, you know a regular um, stretch uh, color bar you would define discrete as true that will give you a standard classified discrete um, color bar okay let's execute that here you go so once you execute, you execute that this will be converted into uh, you know discrete uh, classified uh, color bar now you can see what each specific color is just uh, you know assigned to right so that's how you do uh, add a color bar on the earth engine api um you know to um, and also change you know orientations of a color bar from vertical to uh, horizontal and adjust transparency and also do uh, add some classification to your your data uh, continuous data for for simple visualization